Hello everyone and welcome to the Stake Hall Newscast. Today we're going to analyze tokenomics, news of networks and airdrops. Let's start with tokenomics. As usual, we will start our review of tokenomics with most active zones. The total volume of transfers over the past seven days amounted to a little more than one billion, which is about $4,000 more compared to last week. This signals an increase in activity within the ecosystem, which is good news. The most active pair is Cosmos and Osmosis. So according to the indicator of trading volume, Osmosis takes the first place, followed by Terra Network, then goes hard of the ecosystem Cosmos. And then there are Juna and the recently pleasing Sif chain. Among the largest growth over the past week, the Key and Bostrom networks started out with a rise of 5 points, Loom with a 4-point increase. The fall of the week is led by Samulier, which dropped by 5 points, then the Ixo, the Center and Starname networks dropped by 4 points. Now let's take a look at the state of the tokens. Let's move on to CoinGecko. General indicators of the ecosystem. The market capitalization for today is $58.9 billion, which has increased by 1.3% in the last 24 hours. The volume of trading over the past day is slightly less than 3 billion. The largest growth of the token over the past seven days occurred at the Sentinel network. The DVPN token grew by 600%. Excellent performance. Next come the One Ledger network and its OLT token with indicators plus 54%. And the three leaders are closed by the Sif Chain network with the Erovan token plus 45 and a half percent. But the chart of the largest drops in the market in the ecosystem is headed by the NIM network with minus 30%, followed by Chihuahua with the same indicators and closes the top three by the Carbon Protocol network with the minus 27%. Let's take a closer look at the e Robin token of the SeaChain network. The exchange rate of the token at the moment is about $1.5. The market capitalization is $172 million and the trading volume per day is average $1,773,000. Over the past 7 days, the token chart has been trending upwards and has already grown by 45%. Recall that the peak of the token was at $1.41 in March 2021 and the lowest price of the token was $0.066 on February 3rd of this year. How do you think? Will Erovan regain its position and will it trade within $0.48 and $0.69? Write in the comments. There is already over $10 million total volume locked on Christian. Such a great start! And also thanks to the support of the community, the staking APR is now at the increased rate of about 50%. Some changes occurred within a couple of days. Chris Sands implemented the new BCRE gas prices and a few days after that, according to users' feedback, they have changed it back to CRE, because number of users holding only CRE outnumbered those who only BCRE. Users engaging in liquidity farming receive rewards in CRE, users that onboarded Chris Sands through airdrop only hold CRE. So now you need to delete Christian 1 from Kepler Wallet, restart app to approve chain into Kepler and receive minimum gas fee CRE from Faucet for initial exchange of assets. Really good news from Checkity. They have joined the Cosmos Zero Carbon commitment by Regent Network and now they are going carbon neutral. Do you remember in last videos we told you about Checkity and SSI? Recently they have conducted a survey about why campaigns are exploring SSI. We think that you should take a look at this because it's all about your privacy. For example, there is an interesting survey about where do people most see the need for decentralized digital identity. There were several popular options. One-click login and onboarding with identity verification, proof of personhood, decentralized exchanges, and so on. We would also like to congratulate the CheckID on their birthday. A lot of work is behind, but there are even more adventures ahead. 
SafeChain launched Safe Ascension. It's a new reward structure that complements PMTP and enables flexible rewards governance. This program will speed up and simplify the process of distributing rewards and more beside. Congrats! Also, SafeChain was in the top of the governance coins by price performance list and in the top gainers of the April 28 among DEX coins. Something wonderful from Gravity Bridge again. Now it's possible to swap Huahua from the Chihuahua to Ethereum. Some validators have started dumping Huahua, which scared users of the Chihuahua. We can criticize them for this, because these are their tokens which they have the right to dispose of. But we encourage you to stake on validators that primarily supports your favorite network. Damnet 2 is live. All bugs are fixed, new feeders are added, and now you can bring Atom, Osmo, and Luna Fawcett and use them on CS app. Thanks to the efforts of the Comdex team, Cosmos ecosystem will be able to make a quantum leap in its development. Important news for ERC20 key holders. Key Foundation is announcing shutting down the key chain breach at the 14th of May and unwrapping key tokens won't be possible. So if you still have these tokens, please proceed to migrating to the key chain. Good news! eMoney announced integration with XLR to enable secure cross-chain asset transfers. Their integration enables users to directly swap cross-chain assets within their wallet interfaces and web apps. News from Bitson. There is a new way to stake your Bitson via Ameris. Ameris is a one-stop portal for all crypto apps no matter what blockchain they run on. A cash minute successfully upgraded, and now we have new Cosmos SDK, IBC Go model versions, fixed bugs, and new feeders. A lot of work has been done, congratulations! Here you can see one of the results of the second Bitcana and IBC Friends collab. Very cute, isn't it? You still have a chance to win it. Stifle so pleased to announce that we became validators in Vidal. The purpose of Vidalum is to ensure anyone can adopt and take ownership of their cryptocurrency and digital assets no matter their skill level. A founding principle of Vidalum app is its self-custody of crypto, meaning you own your private keys and are the only person who can sign transactions and access wallets. Built on this steady foundation, Vidalum has evolved into an all-in-one crypto web wallet platform and ecosystem. We have updated our nodes according to the latest Osmosis and Juno versions. Stakehold now supports the MIM network. MIM is a single platform and aggregator of MIMs. There will be a two airdrops for Atom and Osmo delegators. MIM airdrop is only available for the community who has contributed to the Cosmos network by staking to the validators in Cosmos Hub and Osmosis. Today we are glad to share with you information about SafeChain, the omnichain solution for decentralized exchanges. Built with the Cosmos SDK, SafeChain processed substantially more transactions per second than Ethereum, making it a hundred times more efficient than the current leading decentralized exchanges. SafeChain uses StoreChain as a reference implementation and uses spec tokens to support a wide array of blockchains. Not so long ago, the SIF chain introduced two feeders to the community, which we will talk about today. First one is PMTP, Protocol Monetary Trade Policy, that aims to benefit all Roman holders and the stakers. PMTP is a tokenomics innovation that enables governance to adjust Roman's purchasing power and can eventually eliminate the need for inflation. Protocol Monetary Trade Policy's primary goal is to attract external liquidity and increase TVL by making Robin an attractive token to earn rewards in, driving demands to pull assets and purchase stakehold Robin to reap the benefit of PMTP. The best part of this feature is that you don't need to do anything at all to benefit from PMTP. SIF developers have worked hard and made it so that it is automatically applied when you swap. Roman holders benefit by simply holding, staking, or pulling Roman with another asset. We are sure that you will be interested in the success of PMTP since its launch. Volume increased by 60%, Roman is up 87% against Atom, TVL has grown by 36 million. Sounds nice, isn't it? The second feeder is Safe Ascension with all new 60-week liquidity mining rewards program. 
This serves as a replacement for SIF expansion and is a new reward structure that complements PMTP and enables flexible reward governance. Reverse bonus pools include Atom, Ethereum, Osmo, Luna, USDC, and Juno with an initial 246% APR target. New pools also receive the bonus APR. Base APR for all non-bonus liquidity pools initially target 138% APR. Roman rewards auto-compound every block, approximately 6 seconds, in each respective pool. Rewards animations are reviewed and may be adjusted every 7 days. Pools and rewards are now both subject to a 7-day unlocking period, but continue to collect rewards during that period. SafeChain Ascension aims to maintain some of the highest liquidity money and rewards in the Cosmos ecosystem, incentivize new pools to attract external tokens and gradually reduce Roman inflation. We believe that the SafeChain is a very promising project with a great future, which brings its original ideas to the world of cryptocurrency and they are on the way to achieving its goal as the premier DEX in the Cosmos ecosystem. These were all the interesting news for the last two weeks. Stay tuned so as not to miss the main news of the Cosmos ecosystem and do not forget that you have the opportunity to stake on us and subscribe to our social networks. Thank you for your attention.